Hey there, if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. The presumed death of Major John Bucky Egan's best friend, Gail Buck Cleveland, is causing him to struggle during Episode 5 of Masters of the Air. His situation worsens when he takes part in the infamous Munich Raid, which involves him parachuting out of his plane onto German land, leaving him facing a perilous future. The 100th Bomb Group carried out the Munich Raid in October 1943, during the murderous Black Week. The 100th was reduced to a lucky few survivors after its ranks were completely depleted in a matter of days. Among the most disastrous missions, the 100th conducted in 1943 was the Munich Raid. Only one of the 17 planes that were dispatched on the mission survived the raid, with the other four returning after experiencing mechanical problems. Lt. Col. Robert Rosie Rosenthal piloted this aircraft. Major John Egan and the other men of the 100th were either lost in combat or disappeared without a trace. Egan, fortunately, was the latter. In the episode, Egan lands in German territory and makes his way back to England by finding a hiding place right away. Major John Egan was taken prisoner of war following the Munich raid in Episode 5 of Masters of the Air. Like Major William Quinn in Masters of the Air Episode 4, he probably tried to get back to England, but in the end, the Germans caught him and sent him to a prisoner of war camp. Specifically, Egan was sent to a camp known as Stalakluft 3, which was designed to hold personnel from the Western Allied Air Force. Thus, from October 1943 until the end of the war in 1945, Egan was in the camp for the duration of the conflict. Squadron leader Roger Bushel was responsible for numerous failed efforts at escape from Stalakluft 3, according to the American Air Museum. He attempted to get free, as did many other captives, including maybe Major Egan, to disorient and annoy the German soldiers stationed at the camp. Ultimately, in 1945, with Allied forces closing in, the prisoners of Stalakluft 3 were compelled to evacuate the camp making their way through dreadful winter weather and widespread illness. Ultimately, Egan and the other men were saved and brought back to the United States following five grueling days and nights. John Egan and Gail Buck Cleven are both imprisoned. Gail Buck Cleven, Major John Egan's missing best friend, was also incarcerated at Stalakluft 3, which made his detention noteworthy. The truth is that Cleven survived the Bremen expedition, although Masters of the Air hinted at his death and was ambiguous about what happened to him after Episode 4. Cleveland managed to land his damaged aircraft in German territory before it exploded. Sadly, however, the aircraft crashed directly into the German farmer's house, leaving him and his men to be apprehended right away following their incredible escape. The two were reunited as soon as Egan arrived at Stalge Luft 3, perhaps not many days after Cleveland did. Cleveland reportedly said, What the hell took you so long? To Egan. Cleveland and Egan were able to stay together for the remainder of the war in this fashion. The American Air Museum claimed that Cleveland managed to escape the arduous journey out of Stalakluft III towards the conclusion of the war. That being said, one miracle that emerged from the 100th largely dismal history was the bond between Cleveland and Egan. Will Masters of the Air see a lot more of John Egan? Even though Egan will no longer be piloting aircraft on Masters of the Air, his character will probably return. Egan is seen hiding in German territory in Episode 5. This indicates that the show will probably continue with him depicting his final capture. Masters of the Air will likely feature his reuniting with Buck Cleven as well. Not only will the men cherish this moment, but it will also prove that Cleven is still alive and just a prisoner of war. In this sense, Major John Egan will live on even though he isn't the primary character in Masters of the Air any longer. His post-episode destiny will likely be discussed in the upcoming episodes, particularly in light of his friendship with Gail Cleven. By the end of Masters of the Air, Egan and the other 100th men who went missing in action in the spring of 1943 will have their story completed. Thanks for watching. As we talk with you all, remember to like, subscribe, 